Sometimes disaster strikes. Sometimes it's communicable disease. Sometimes it's lightning and sometimes <sighs> Sometimes it's pizza. Hello, I am Reina the Witch of What the F and today I am going to show you how to recover from the inevitable, which is ducking up. Ducking up. Duck. What the actual duck? Am I being autocorrected? This is why I drink. I have some sage advice for you. Take the time to eat before you paint, because when it comes to skin and painting, basal cells are bad. But I'm oh. <sighs> Who's got an appetite for destruction? This one's for you. This piece is a galaxy pour inspired by Sarah Max art. They're beautiful. I've always wanted to try one, so I finally did. The paints I am using are mostly Deco Art Extreme Sheen. I have got rose quartz, aquamarine, sapphire, 24 karat gold, pink tourmaline, and then the wild card is Amsterdam Prussian Blue. The Deco Arts are mixed one to one with Floetrol, and the Prussian Blue is mixed two to one. That is tube paint, so it needs to be thinned out a little more. This is a straight pour technique. Notice I am not making little circles with my hand, just letting the paint fall where it may. A cool thing to know is the closer you are to the canvas, the bigger cells you're going to get. The further away you are from the canvas, the more fine lines you're going to get. This paper cup holds three ounces of paint, by the way, and this canvas is 12 inches by 12 inches. Ugh. Disaster number one of the night using this stuff. I went into my friendly neighborhood hardware store where the paint department is staffed by people that do not know what paint is. I asked for untinted base paint. Man, that torch is rude. Anyway, I asked for untinted base paint and they gave me something called Lucite. Let me tell you, Lucite is garbage. It works fine as a flow extender if you are just painting on tiles and need the paint to fall off your tiles, but on canvas, this stuff is kryptonite. Don't use it, you'll regret it, you'll hate yourself, and you're gonna have to end up painting everything that you did. Look at all those happy little cells just tilt, tilt, tilting away, like on a tilt a world the carnival, hopefully without the vomit. So I'm not gonna lie, between segments here, I went and I made a pizza. And I was snacking on it. That's disaster number two. That and the stupid lucite. Don't drop your pizza in your painting. Because <laughs> you can't eat your pizza and you then gotta get pizza out of your painting. I crack myself up. I really, really do. It's sick. It's a sickness. Yes. How cute.
Here's the dried peas. I noticed the next morning there are little bits of basil and thyme and rosemary and God knows what else that was in here. So I tweezed for my life like I do on Sunday mornings and it left some nice little pits, if you can see that. And there are others like it all over. Also, the lucite that I told you not to use during the video, that is because it causes this terrible flocculation, which is all these little spots that the paint just didn't go because it didn't stick to the canvas. So now that I uh, recovered my painting from the pizza-ish, I now get to recover it from the really bad flow extender that you should not use. How am I gonna do it, you may ask? Well, I am going to mix up a little bit of paint and flow troll, kind of like a medium turquoise, and I'm gonna paint it over this to cover the white. And then, when that's dry, I'm gonna cover it with glitter. Yes, lots of glitter, mm-hmm. And then I am going to take some rhinestones that I've got, and like nice Swarovski rhinestones, and I am going to glue those suckers into all these little pits. Then I'll probably add just a few for effect, and this thing is going to be so blinged out. I immediately thought of Broadway in Nashville on Friday night. <sighs> Red cowboy boots everywhere. <laughs> If you want to see the dried result, I will eventually post it on my Instagram when all is said and done and it is blinged and varnished and shiny and ready to go to its new home. So keep a watch out for that. The pizza fiasco of 2020 because what else could go wrong? So the moral of the story is don't eat pizza while you're painting and if you completely duck up, the answer is uh, spin it out. Get some rhinestones, get some glitter, and get yourself a couple of glasses of wine. The most important thing is just have fun. This is what this is all about. <laughs> Having fun, letting loose, letting your control freak ways just be at rest for a couple of hours while you play and paint like you did when you were a kid. Now our grape juice is fermented. This is what makes life a glorious thing. <laughs> so, Spells and incantations, painting and libations. Have fun painting. We'll see you next time.